guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute girl since i've been here it's been like uh, almost three weeks that i haven't posted a video and i just wanted to say i am so 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 sorry that i've been delayed in videos so yeah i just wanted to apologize for me not being active here on youtube i have been active a lot on tiktok though so if you guys want to go follow me on tiktok to see me upload i usually upload every other day or a few times a week so um, make sure you follow me on tiktok it is just charlotte's beauty room but i wanted to give you guys sort of an update in this video if you've read the title yes we are doing an unboxing and if you follow me on instagram you already know what it is because i've been posting it all over Instagram but I do have a ton of followers who don't have Instagrams and they strictly just watch me through YouTube or if you're new and you're just clicking on this video hi I'm Sharla um, make sure you like and um, subscribe so you can become part of the pink so you can become part of the pink family and yeah I'm going to be updating you guys what's been going on um, and what happened in Vegas so a lot of um, unexpected things happen in Vegas and some good things happened in Vegas so trying to leave the past in Vegas but I do have to update you guys with what has been going on so um, yeah let's go ahead and get into this video if you're here for the unboxing I will go ahead and do that first and for you guys who want to know what's the 411 what happened in Vegas um, then just stay until the end of the video but for those of you guys who just want to see this bag unboxing, then just keep watching. We are going to go straight into that. So um, sh um, long story short, we went to Vegas for me and my husband's anniversary. And you guys know every time I go to Vegas, I try and get um, something from Louis Vuitton just because it's kind of like a special treat because I don't have Louis Vuitton around in my town it's like a little desert over here so I don't shop at Louis Vuitton often I only shop maybe once or twice a year so it has been since my birthday which was in November so I haven't gone to Vegas since November so um, me and my husband wanted to get this bag like as an anniversary gift to me well we both went in half and half to pay for this bag because this is probably the most expensive the most that I've ever spent on a bag and I was very hesitant to buy this bag because for that reason but um, like I said me and my husband both went in on this bag and he really wanted me to have it because it is a very rare um, piece in a it's a limited edition collection so I know that this bag is gonna hold its value and um, this bag literally screams my name like it's literally me my name written on that bag so um, I really really wanted it and I knew that if I was going to spend money on a bag it's going to be a bag that I feel is worth it so because you guys know and if you don't, guys don't know I do own real bags and I own fake bags I own Walmart bags I own like I I do not have a preference when it comes to the bag as long as it's pink and cute I want it so um, yeah I do have fake bags and I do have real bags and there's nothing wrong with that whatever makes me happy I'm gonna do that so um, this bag I did want to buy the authentic one because this is a very hard bag to um, remake so that is why I also wanted to buy this bag so um, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing you guys are probably like okay okay girl open up the bag now <laughs> so the first thing that is in here is this book I've never had a Louis Vuitton book and um, the sales associate was so nice to um, give me a Louis Vuitton book just showing like everything new that they have coming out and she shouldn't have gave this to me because she makes me want to buy more bags <laughs> but she gave me a book which I thought that was very nice and here is the box <laughs> I'm so excited to open it I to open it because I've already opened it and used it but it's just like to show you guys on camera I'm super excited um so yeah here she is can you got I'm I don't know I'm pretty sure by the thumbnail you guys already know what it is if you don't follow me on Instagram but it is a very limited edition bag and these are hard to find i got very 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 lucky finding this bag so once i open it i'll tell you guys a little story on how i came across this bag so on my tiktok if you guys don't follow me on tiktok i wanted to um catfish you guys and i had put on the front of my thumbnail 
on my TikTok, I posted went flew all the way to Las Vegas just to buy this bag. And let me tell you, there were so many people in the comments saying like, wow, you flew all the way to Vegas just for a bag. Like, how superficial are you? And I was like, oh my God, like I didn't even think I was gonna find this bag. I literally just went for me and my husband's anniversary. <laughs> like, I just put that just to catfish people to like wanna watch the video and be like, oh my God, well, what did she get, you know? So it was just like a little clickbait, you know, type of moment, but people were really mad. They're like, oh my God, you know, they could have shipped that to you, right? And I'm like, yes, I know I was just kidding about the caption, but um, yeah, I got a lot of like positive feedback on that TikTok and a lot of people were like, oh my God, like, how can you? And I'm like, girl, trust me, like, I don't just go every weekend and buy <laughs> real bags. Like this is like once a year type of thing, maybe if that. So um, yeah, I just wanted to um, tell you guys that, um, so this is what happened. Well, let me open up the bag. Let me shut up because you guys are gonna be so mad if I don't hurry up and show you the bag. So here she is. <laughs> so pretty well you guys are like the bag is pretty the dust bag is pretty um so you guys are gonna be obsessed with this bag this is probably like hands down this is the prettiest bag now that i own in my collection so are you guys ready to see <laughs> oh my god <laughs> she's so pretty oh, like i've already opened this bag but just taking her out of the dust bag and seeing her like she's just so beautiful so this is the sunrise pastel um collection and this is the on the go pm so they have the on the go i think it's mm it's like a bigger tote um but this is the pm so this is the medium sized one and this is the perfect size bag i am so obsessed so here she is up close i'll add more um little pictures of her in my car so you guys can see but um this is the most beautiful pastel like unicorn bag it has purple pink and blue literally that screams me because you guys know like i love anything pastel and you guys know that i've had like pastel bags inspired or um yeah pretty much inspired by louis vuitton i just love like anything pastel so i just knew that i had to invest in this bag because there is like no other bag like this no one has ever made such a pretty bag like this so i just knew like i have to have it like if i have to be a slave for the rest of my life i will do it and um yeah i like, typically would not spend what this bag costed i don't want to like say how much it was because it's like there's a lot i could have done with that money yes and i don't know if i'm gonna get like bad comments from people saying that but like i said this is the first ever bag that i've ever spent this amount of money on and i did save up for this money so it's not like i just got it like you know out of the blue like i've been saving um for a bag like this so um yeah i just wanted to reward myself for all the hard work that i've been putting in um you know mentally and physically and work wise so i thought that you know i deserved it and my husband you know thought that i deserved to have something this special so that is why i got it but i am so obsessed with it so this is what it looks like on the sides it is just so pretty and magical <laughs> it's so cute I'm like <laughs> and the thing that you guys don't even know is that the pink logos they're literally glitter i don't think the camera will catch it but if you shine this bag in the light um there's literally glitter on these logos but yeah it's very it, like you can only see it with the naked eye you can't really see it with the camera um but it is so so pretty and i just love the quality of this bag so it did come with a beautiful um mint um crossbody strap so this is like a mint green um it pretty much matches like with the corner right here and my dog is barking this pretty much match with the corner of this bag it's like a mint um green pastel blue type of color um so that is the color of the strap they decided to go with i wish they would have made it pink but it actually looks very pretty in this color and it also came with a little coin bag which i am super super glad that it came with that because for the amount i spent on it like i like i'm glad that it came with that because if i would have gotten the neverfull which is what i first wanted 
Um, the Neverfull comes with a pochette, so I thought it was like worth the money because it's a little bit cheaper than this and it comes with a pochette. So I was like, I feel like that's better for my buy. But also, I only use Neverfulls when I travel. I don't use it as an everyday bag just because I don't carry so much stuff. So I knew that if I was going to get my money's worth and want to um, invest in a bag, it's going to be a bag I want to use all the time. And so that is why I chose this one. So I'm glad it came with a little coin pouch. But if you are like a mom or you're somebody who does carry um, a work bag, you do carry a ton of stuff every day, I feel like you should totally go for the Neverfull. But like I said, I already have two Neverfulls, which they are right here. I already have two. So I was like, uh, I don't think I need another because um, when I travel, I usually take one of those. Um, so that is why I went ahead and got this one because I don't own um, this shape of bag. Literally, I don't own any of like this style bag in my collection so that's why I wanted something um, different um, but this is how the inside looks it is very very pretty it's a pastel purple and it has pockets on each side of the bag I couldn't find an organizer on Amazon that was specifically for this bag so I actually have an organizer that's from my nail no way bag because um it's very small like it has like the nail no way bag has two compartments so it's like two small organizers so one of those organizers did fit in here so that's what I have in here right now that's what I've been using right now um, but if I can find one that's um, if they make one specifically for this bag I will link it to you guys but like so far I'm using the nail no way organizer um, so I will go ahead and do a little what's in my bag with you guys um, but I want to tell you how I found this bag because um, it was just literally I didn't expect to find this bag so um, we went to Las Vegas and we were shopping at the stores and it didn't show that these bags were in stock because if you go online you can check and see what stores have it. Literally there's like 10 stores in Vegas and nothing like all 10 of the stores had not one of these bags in stock like not one. So I went into this one of the stores and I asked the SA if I could possibly order one and he did find one. Um, that was in California so he said that he would order it for me if it wasn't already um, purchased because he can't he couldn't really tell like um, the accurate amount like if there was one in the store or not because there was only one and he said I can try and put an order in for you but if somebody like has already bought it and the website's not updated or on his tablet then um, that was the only chance I pretty much had so I went ahead and placed the order with him and um, uh, paid for it and so I was kind of sad because I was like man like I don't it doesn't even feel like I bought the bag so he was pretty assured that I was going to get the bag because it let me it let him order it online but um, it's just kind of like not the same experience as going into the store and finding it and taking it home so I kind of felt like I didn't get it. I was like, mommy, my bank account's empty, but where's my purse? So, um, so after that, and then a whole bunch of other things happened, which I will explain at the end of the video. So literally the very next day, we were going to brunch and um, we had to pass the Louis Vuitton to go um, to our restaurant. So as we were passing the Louis Vuitton store, I just look in there. It's like something told me, just look in there. So I look in there as we were passing and guess what I see on the shelf? This bag. I immediately grabbed the bark. I was like, babe, you're not gonna believe what they have in there. I just, I saw it. Like, I thought my eyes, I was like, are my eyes playing tricks on me? <laughs> so I ran in that store and um, the same sales associate that helped me the day before wasn't there. So I like just grabbed a random sales associate. And I was like, girl, I just made an order yesterday on that bag that you that y'all said y'all didn't have, but there it is sitting on the shelf right now. And she said that she didn't even know that they were getting that bag, that it had just arrived that morning and they they can't like have control of seeing like what comes in to their stores. That's what she told me. So she was like, yeah, I, well, I didn't even, we didn't even know it was coming in. It just arrived this morning. And I was like, okay, well, can I cancel the order that I made online and take this one home? So she was like, well, if they shipped it, then you, and then I can't. So she, I was like praying. I was like, oh my God, I hope they didn't ship it. So they didn't ship it and she was like, looks like you're gonna take your bag home. And I was like so excited because I was like, wow, all these, all the bad luck that I had been having this whole trip and then finally my luck turned around and I was able to take this bag home. So I was like 
I was so excited and so happy and Mark could see like how like giddy I was and it just made him happy to see me happy and and this bag just looks so much more beautiful in person so I was so excited to take it home and literally I did not let this bag out of my sight on the plane ride home I had my um, I had the bag with me the whole time and luckily because our suitcases ended up getting to our hometown before we did so if somebody would have stolen our suitcases they would have had a brand new bag so I will tell you guys that story here at the end of the video but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, the organizer and what fits in here so I do want to mention this keychain that I got from a seller on Instagram I will link it down below you guys please remind me because sometimes I forget to link everything so if I forget to link it just you know tell me in the comments and I will <laughs> um, post it but this is a um, recycled LV palm chain so what the seller does is take the recycled leather and makes it into a little palm chain so um, I've had this for a long time I usually put it on my never full but I wanted to put it on this bag just because I thought it was like super cute and girly so um, this is how it looks with the little palm I thought that was super cute and then I also take off the coin purse and I just put it in my bag because I don't want it to hit anything and get dirty like rub on anything since it's like on the strap so I do put this inside my bag but here is the organizer that I have been using for it and I almost dropped my bag I'm like keeping a close eye on my bag so let me go ahead and put this on the set it down really quickly so this is the organizer that I have been using so this is made for the nail in a way but it does fit um, quite nice in the bag so there's a lot of stuff that I have in here so I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys what fits in here so I do have, I'm going to zoom you guys in, hello, <laughs> so okay we're not going to, hold on, that's a little bit too much zoomed in, okay, there we go, okay, so what we have in here is um, obviously my little coin purse and then I have um, my keys, so these are my Victoria's Secret um, key straps. And then I have my um, pink key cover on my keys. So this I got from Amazon. I will have my Amazon storefront link down below so you guys can shop everything pink that's in my car. <laughs> um, and then I have this little pochette in here. So this is from the previous pastel collection that they made like uh, last year, I think. Um, and how cute would it be if they made the sunrise in this little pochette I don't think they have I don't think they are going to but how cute would it have been if they would have made it into a little pochette but um, this one I love just as much so this one is the recent pastel one that they had came out with uh, last year so in here I just have a body spray from Victoria's Secret this is in the scent tees cream cloud I'm sorry my phone keeps going off and it's over there I don't feel like getting up <laughs> so this is in the scent cream tease cream cloud it kind of reminds me of ariana grande and tease had a baby that's what it smells like so i have this hand cream this is from bath and body works and strawberry pound cake my favorite scent of all time um and then i have a lip balm here from glow recipe i have a hair tie because it's hot here in texas you never know when you're gonna need a hair tie so that is everything that i have in the little pochette and next thing that I have in here is a mirror. So this is a compact mirror. I got this from blingartforyou.com. I will link her down below. She makes custom mirrors. So this is how it looks and it does light up as well. Um, and I've had this one for a very, very, very long time. So it does look a little bit old, but I've, I've had it forever and it does have the first Louis Vuitton bag that I've ever owned on here so I, ha I have had that for a while and next thing we have in here is some card holders so I have my pink LV card holder in here so this card holder I keep my Starbucks gift card in here and I keep my business cards in here because sometimes I'll have people who compliment on the items that I'm selling and um, I 
always need business cards to give them out to people who I think would like pink so um, that's what I carry in here is like business cards and then I have my um, Victoria's Secret um, card holder for my credit cards and um, I was using the little LV zip around wallet but I only use like my big wallets whenever I have cash um, and right now I just have my cards because I gave all my cash away <laughs> so this is one that I'm using right now and I feel like it just matches perfectly with my bag so I'm using the little Victoria's Secret one um, and then I have some Too Faced setting powder because now that it is hot out here I have to like touch myself up throughout the day and lastly I have two lipsticks so I have a Too Faced gloss this is called Two Night Stand it's the perfect shade of pink and then I have the lipstick that I'm using right now it's the, Man Ma Manani. <laughs> the Milani lipstick in the shade Secret so it's what I have on my lips right now and I have been addicted to lipsticks right now like instead of liquid lipsticks just because it's easy to touch up um, especially if you're like eating throughout the day or it's hot um, you're drinking water throughout the day it is just easy to touch up with the lipstick versus a liquid lipstick because your lips can get crusty and dry so um, I've been using lipsticks a lot lately so this is how she looks inside the little organizer if it's pretty perfectly so I'll probably just end up keeping this one I'm not sure if they have one like especially for the um, on the go PM but this one fits pretty nicely in here um, it is a little bit smaller than the bag but it fits pretty nice and it protects the inside of the bag from getting dirty so that is mainly what I wanted an organizer for so I'm gonna zoom you guys back out that is how she looks you guys and it does have a little clasp at the top that you can close the bag with because this one doesn't have a zipper but it does have like the little rings and the little um, lobster clasp here that you can close it with um, but mine won't close because I have it so stuffed but um, it does have that to close it and then it does adjust so you can adjust the straps however you like but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below do you think it was worth it do you think it wasn't I personally think it was worth it so um, I'm obsessed with it but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys for those of you who want to know what happened when I was in Vegas <laughs> um, for those of you who don't that is it for the video I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more bag unboxings I will be doing more soon um, and not for um, the authentic ones because I do have some non-authentic ones coming in so if you guys want to see the dupes um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching well, basically um, if you guys have watched my previous video you guys know that I was creating an inspired tote bag on my shop and I had so many positive feedback on that tote bag I was literally um, wearing myself out making those tote bags because of how much you guys loved them and it made me so happy because those are probably one of like my most favorite creations that I have made in a while so I was very excited about you know creating this tote bag and it was inspired so of course I was risking you know getting in trouble by the owner so um, that's kind of what happened but it's also not what happened so the day that I was leaving to Vegas I was going to vlog everything and literally that morning that I was leaving to the airport I got an email from Instagram and it had said that um, it had deleted pictures from my Instagram because I was copywriting and if I were to post any more photos then of course my account would get taken down and I thought my account was gonna get taken down because I got 20 pictures deleted so I like it was like over 20 pictures on my Instagram deleted so I didn't know if that meant like that they were gonna take my account down because it was like more than one photo so I was crying at the airport I honestly wanted to cancel the flight and just go back home because I just was not feeling it and I was crying and I had to make a post on Instagram telling people that you know that might be like the end of my account and my husband was trying to comfort me and tell me not to worry and let's just have a good time but it's kind of hard to have a good time when you know that your account is probably going to get taken down and honestly you guys it's not the numbers that I care about like there's like a lot of people are just like oh my god like I have a million followers my account gets deleted like there goes my popularity like no that's not me like 
I'm not afraid of starting over because honestly, it's like fun to see your page grow. I'm a, I wasn't afraid of starting over. It was just me personally. It's just all the time that I put into Instagram, like all the time that I, you know, do to make content and try to grow. It's really just the time and it's also the people that I made connections with because not everybody watches my stories. So it's like not everybody was going to see that my account got taken down and maybe not everybody would, would have been able to find me again. And it's just that I made so many close connections with a lot of people that have been telling me that I've been making a huge impact on them on their life recently. So I was crying because I was like, man, like I'm going to lose all my friends. Like what if not everybody's able to find me again? And it's really, it was just the time you guys, like it's kind of like the way I feel, it's kind of like, let's say, um, you're getting your house built. It takes two years to get the house built, but you put all your love and you've perfected that house and you're excited because you're about to move into that house. And then let's say a tornado comes and takes your house away, takes everything the hard that you worked for away. Sorry, my dog's growling but um, they're able to rebuild the house because you got insurance, like whatever, like you're able to rebuild the house. But still, it's just like all that time and love that you put into that house and it's still like gonna hurt you. So that's kind of like how I felt. Like, I, I mean, I was like, it is what it is. If it gets taken down, like I'll just restart a new page, but it's just like the time. Like I was just bummed out because I was like, man, like all that time that I took to grow my Instagram and you know make so many friends and stuff and for it to just like get taken away like just because of something dumb something that everybody does not just me so um, that's why I thought it was kind of unfair too because I was like I'm not the only one who's doing like stuff like that like there's so many other people who are doing stuff too like how come it's only me so in the email it said that it was a third party that reported so it wasn't the brand themselves it was just somebody you know of a third party so it was just somebody i guess who has malicious intent towards me or did not like what i was doing but i thought it was weird because i haven't gotten not one single message saying like oh my god did you know that you can't do that um, I never got one message like that. I got so many messages saying like, when am I restocking? When am I restocking? Stocking? Like, I never got a warning from somebody saying like, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Like, I never, never got that. So, like, this was, I was like whiplashed by this because I didn't think like this was going to happen. So, I know that it was probably, I was probably reported just by somebody who probably does not like me or cannot like, who doesn't want to see me happy. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not going to point fingers. At the end of the day, it is my fault because I'm taking the risk and it wasn't my brand to be recreating. So I don't, not to say like I'm not heard about it because I am, but I also like, I'm not going to point fingers because like at the end of the day, it's my fault. So um, I went on live when I got to Vegas and I was literally crying to everybody on my Instagram live. And I'm getting a little bit emotional right now, but um, I went on my Instagram live and I was like crying and I was telling people like I like was sad and I want all of my friends to refollow me again because I've had so many people say like, you know, I watch you when I'm depressed and you help me feel better and like I was like breaking down because I was like, oh my god, like I don't want to lose those people. So I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. So that is like pretty much why I was so hurt, but um also so i was like so sad throughout that whole day i was like crying like and i was like why am i crying i'm in vegas like it's not like it's not the end of the world like i also felt stupid too i was like well why am i making such a big deal out of this like there's bigger things going on in the world like like i just i just kind of like had to smack myself in the face like dude get over it like if it happens it happens like just get back up don't let it keep you down because i was literally like man if my if my account gets taken down i'm just not gonna make another account for a long time and my husband's like no like you can't think that way like there's people who need you like you have to get back up and just don't let it get you down so i had to kind of like slap myself a little bit my husband had to shake me and be like stop 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 letting it get to you so i'm a very emotional person you guys like i cry for everything i cry when i'm happy i cry when i'm sad i cry when i'm mad like i'm just very 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 emotional so 
Um, and then I was on my period, so I was like, it was like up to here. Like usually like I'm here with emotional on my, I was on my period. I was like up to here, like over the top. So I was like crying on my live, but you guys sent me. I did not expect so many people to message me and tell me so many like encouraging things. And I was like crying even more because I was like, man, like it's so nice to have so many people that you don't even really know like care about you so i was like oh my god like this is why like i don't want to lose my instagram because it's just so nice to like have a family like especially of girls because it's like girls here in my town like they just want to be competitive they don't want to be my friend they just want to like one-up me and that's not what i want like i just want genuine friends to like we can cry to and hang out and be silly like that's that's all I care for in a friendship so that's what I felt like I had on Instagram so that's why I was really sad so um yeah so then I was like really prepared I wasn't having my hopes up but then I did have a few people reach out to me and say that the same thing happened to them and only their Instagram got um, only their pictures got taken down and they were able to keep their account so that gave me so much hope and then also some other people said it took them like two days for their account to get taken down so I was like okay well I guess I'm gonna wait two days and see <laughs> if I'm still here if my page is still here so it is now like a whole week later and I still have my page so now I am just being careful with what I post I'm no longer selling um, those tote bags with that logo um, so I'm so sorry only like a few of you have a tote bag like that but um, I'm no longer selling those tote bags with the with that brand on it um, and yeah that is pretty much like the update I came home and I was like you know what like this is gonna push me to create and have a new beginning and it I we also had bad luck up there because we had so many problems with our planes even coming home it took us an extra day to get home because our plane was canceled and me and my husband were frustrated because we couldn't find anybody to feed our horses last minute and we were just like we were looking at each other and we're like we're in Vegas but why do we want to go home like me and my husband were having bad luck um, but everything turned around after the second day, you know, good things started happening and I found the bag and everything was taken care of here at home while we were up there. So we started loosening up a little bit. I was still a little sad, but I was still like, okay, like, can, it's a little bit better. So now that I'm home, I feel like so many good things are coming my way and I just feel like it's everything bad that happens is a blessing in disguise like I have to honestly believe that and trust in God that good things are gonna come out of this and I know they are because I have some good news that I don't want to share right this second um, because I don't want to like um, I don't want to lay my eggs before they hatch how do you say that how do you say that saying like count your eggs before they don't count your eggs before they hatch um, so I don't want to say anything right now but I have exciting news coming and I have big things happening and I am so like hopeful that everything works out and I'm so excited for what's to come so I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me and leaving me those of you guys who left me encouraging words I want to say thank you so much it like literally like helped me get back up because without those words I probably would just like quit <laughs> so I want to say thank you and I love you so um, in the next video maybe I will announce what changes are going to be made so I hope you guys stick around and if you're new I hope you subscribe and become part of my pink family so yeah with that being said I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.